Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to create an AI that both walks on the ground and flies in the air. So basically, you're kind of like your classic dragon NPC where it flies and walks simultaneously. That's what uh, for this video we're going to use this giant bat from Protofactor. I'll link them in the description below. I already have the NPC set up with all the meshes and animation blueprint well the basic animation blueprint and right now it just walks randomly in the idle state you can see here it's just walking and what we want to do is we want to make him fly so right here we want to create another event Let's add a custom event and call this on fly. What we want to do here is we want to get the character movement component, set movement mode to flying, and then set orient rotation to movement to true. This one is optional, this set orient rotation to movement is, is optional depending on how you want your AI to rotate. Next is we want to get AI controller, hook up the self, and let's call run behavior tree. Oops. What we want to do here is we want to use the pre-made flying AI behavior tree already included in the toolkit. So yeah, set movement mode to flying, rent rotation movement, then run the behavior tree. Now what we want to do is in the be event begin play, we're going to add a delay of 5 seconds. So for 5 seconds, He's just going to walk and then after that we call on fly which triggers the flying. Let's dust that and walk for five seconds and then it's flying. Well not really, we need to set up the animation. It's just walking in the air right now. So what we want to do is go to the anim blueprint that we're using. This is the same and blueprint from the tutorial on how to use custom meshes and custom animations just the just default idle and run state so what we want to do is we want to add a new state call this launch so we're gonna add a launch animation before the flying right click on launch and want to play the takeoff animation and then in this transition right here what we need is we need to figure out when to play the launching well we want to play it when the movement mode is set to flying right so let's create a variable call it movement mode and make sure the variable type is set to e movement mode So we're going to check if it's equal to flying. If it's equal to flying, it's going to go to this launch state. In this launch state, we add another state called flying. This is where we play the blend space for, for flying. I already have the blend, is bl blend space for that, bat fly. Just a normal blend space. 1D. So, BS, BS bat fly. Hook up the speed. And we want to go to the transition right here. Um, what we want to do is get the time remaining ratio and 
check if that is less than 0 0.1. Meaning if our takeoff animation is near to its end, we're going to go to the flying animation. Okay, let's test that. Oh, wait, forgot one more thing. We didn't actually set the movement mode. So what I want to do is we want to get the pawn owner of this blueprint, this anim blueprint. Get the movement component. And then we want to cast this to character movement component, right? And then we get the movement mode from this character movement component. And then we set that to our local local variable of movement mode. All right, let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. You see there, he just played uh, his takeoff animation before doing the flying. Right there. All right, so now we want him to return what return to walking, right? So um, what, what what we want to do is we want to go to the anim graph again. We're gonna add a landing animation. So let's add a new state called land. Right here we play bat landing animation. Click on this transition right here. We want to land when the movement mode is equal to walking, right? Yeah. And then we connect land to idle run. We're gonna use the time remaining ratio again. If it's less than 0 0.1, we're gonna play the idle animation. And in our NPC blueprint, what we want to do is we want to create another custom event. Call this on walk. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna reverse everything that we did on the for the on fly. So set the movement mode to walking, uncheck orient rotation to movement, and use the generic AI behavior tree, which is the default behavior tree. Let's go back here to begin play, add another delay. Let's say 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds of flying, it's going to re return to walking. And um, yeah, that looks good. Uh, one more thing, you might find this useful click on character movement component and scroll to character movement flying, right? You you'd probably want to set the braking deceleration flying to something uh, something like 512. I just like that number. But yeah, something like that. What this does is it makes sure it makes your flying movement more accurate. So it doesn't like stray too far away flies after a few seconds it should return to walking and yeah plays the landing animation now he's walking again so yeah that's the flying and walking ai you can use these two events right here to call you can call this whenever you want so say you want to trigger the on fly when the enemy is attacked. So what you want to do there is maybe click on behavior component and scroll down here. You can add on begin attack melee. So on begin attack melee is called if the that state uh, is triggered. So just call on fly here, right? And yeah. You can basically call these two functions, uh, two events, 
whenever you want. Uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful. Please let me know if you'd like to learn more uh, on how to use the toolkit, how to create specific kinds of AIs for other types of games. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.